Hi beauties, this video was sponsored by Hair Biology, soft and hydrated collection, sold exclusively at Target. So ladies, have you ever woken up in the morning and said, what's happened to my hair? Especially now that you've gotten older. As you know, my channel specializes in women over 40, 50, 60 and beyond. And I have noticed since <laughs> I've uh, gotten older, my hair is not as sexy. It's just drier. It's not as more limp, more limp. Um, I, I have lost a lot of my moisture as it's gotten more gray. It's gone, you know, less pigment and let's just face it. It's gotten a lot drier. So today we are going to be talking everything hair. So <laughs> stay tuned. So I'm Dawn Gallagher. Welcome to my channel. And I specialize in everything fabulous, whether that's beauty, hair, fashion, you name it, you've come to the right channel. So don't forget to subscribe, comment below. And today I've got my very dear friend with me, Haley. She's a hairdresser. Hello. She has cut my hair. She has styled my hair. And if you want this beautiful, <laughs> sexy, gorgeous, voluminous hair, we're gonna be talking about all the great products that you can use and also hair vitamins, everything you can do to make your hair look fabulous. And if you want this beautiful look, watch this channel and stay tuned. So Haley, thank you for coming over today. I really appreciate yeah, it. thanks for having me. You know, I really want to talk a little bit about, now that you've shampooed my hair and conditioned it, and I really am feeling great about this hair biology. I really love it. I noticed as I've gotten older, and I know lots of you ladies out there, as you've gotten older, you're probably like me, your hair's starting to get a little more coarse, maybe a little drier, a little frizzier. Uh, maybe you're in menopause, um, maybe your hormones have been shifting. So why a moisturizing shampoo, Haley, and, and a moisturizing conditioner? Yeah, um, good question. Mm -hmm. So over time, um, when you get into your 40s, 50s, you tend to lose pigment in your hair. The gray hair tends to be dry, coarser. So you wanna go back in with a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner to replace that moisture that you lack over time with your hair. I just wanna talk a little bit also about this um, deep hydration mask. Yeah. Um, we were talking about this earlier and I said, oh, maybe we should do this hair mask before you do my hair. And you were saying, well, let's wait. So yeah. tell us a little bit about the deep hydration mask and when is the optimal time to be using a mask, a hair right. mask. Right. Um, well, in your case, your hair is dry, but it's not necessarily damaged or dis like destroyed by any kind of Mm -hmm. bleach or anything it's in good shape overall but for the most part you know you want to go ahead and use a mask maybe once twice a week unless you're in a position that your hair is extremely damaged and needs repair mm -hmm. um, but just for a revamp from heat and heat iron and tools you want to go ahead and use something that is a little bit extra moisture to mm -hmm. rehydrate your hair from what life does to it <laughs> um, so like once a week once a just week. Just give yourself that hour or two to yeah. do the deep hair And the reason why I didn't want to do it today is because if you're styling your hair and you want a lot of volume, when you hydrate it a lot, it tends to get a little bit heavier and limp. In and we want down. volume today. Today we want sexy, yeah. voluminous <laughs> hair, right? Yes. So, okay, great. What I'm going for today is going to be more of, um, it's, we're going to use a hot iron to create waves. Um, not necessarily, it's still glamorous and still voluminous, but we will still want it to look a little bit on the more natural side. And with that, I'm going to use the iron to go in different directions so that you can get more volume. When they, all the curls go in the same direction, it tends to fall a little flat because they lay all on top of each other. When oh. you go in different directions, 
you get more volume, more movement. And with now, we're not really going to, unfortunately, any big parties or anything, so no. we're not trying to have overly glamorous looks. No, um, I'm just going to dinner with one other friend. I, yeah. I have a very small pot of people, especially like you, you know, we've known each other a long time, and yep. we've both been tested, and you know, we know each other well, but yeah, we absolutely. always gotta keep safe, ladies, uh, when we go out or whatever we're doing right now. I'm gonna go into the blow dry. Um, but actually, first I want to talk about sectioning. Okay. Um, you always want to go ahead and at least just lightly put your part into place before you blow dry. Okay. Unless you don't like a part, then you can blow it any other direction. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do that, your hair is just going to stand up and you have little baby flyaways that you don't really want to yeah, deal with. We don't want the baby flyaways. Yeah. Yeah. So first I'm going to start with rough drying your hair Okay. Um, to get some of the moisture out. We'll probably rough dry it to about 80% before I start with the round brush. Noticed, but I was lifting your hair up as mm -hmm. I was rough drying it and kind of pulling at the roots a bit. Mm -hmm. With that, I was adding some lift um, for hold, and then it was I'm stretching at the hair to kind of smooth the roots a little bit. I see. So it, that's really important to to again give it volume. Yeah, it definitely. Mm -hmm. You want to start. You always want to focus the air on the roots in the direction that you're going to want them to end up. So when you're pulling down and pushing the air down at the hair, your hair is going to naturally want to fall in that direction. Okay. Think of it as a curling iron. It heats up and it cools. Wherever it is, is where it falls. So mm -hmm. if you're heating the roots up, when it falls, when it cools, it's going to kind of lift up for the most part. So as far as sectioning, for the most part, uh, I typically start with a section. I always start in the front because you want to get that hair smooth mm -hmm. before it starts to dry. Um, and you know the back is obviously not what you're staring at most of the time so you finish back there right um, so what I typically do depending on the density of your hair how much you have you want a section that's about the size of your round brush so mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and take this section just in front of your ear and we'll just start round brushing from there and I'll kind of let you guys know what I'm doing as I go <laughs> next I'm gonna take this section just above it and just overall, you just kind of want to think of it as quadrants mm -hmm. throughout the head. One, you know, below the curve of the head, one right above that. On this side where the parting is, you're going to have three sections as opposed to two. Mm -hmm. um, and then from the back, you're just going to do the same thing, working all the way up. Sections the size of your round brush, lifting right. as you're blow drying. And... Um, and clip, get clips. So when you sing section it, you, you have clips. Right. Clip them. And, Absolutely. And, yeah. yeah. You want to have clips. I'm using these smaller, um, duck, they're called duckbill clips. Okay. They don't put as much pressure on the hair. So oh. they don't put indentions that you're going to have to fight out later, okay. which is super helpful. Now they also have alligator clips, which are just over there. Mm -hmm. And um, these are really great for really thick hair when you need a lot of hair to hold. Okay. But for the most part, I like to work with these when I'm blow drying. Mm -hmm. uh, can I ask you a question? Yeah. How does my hair feel after we've shampooed and conditioned her? Does it feel Absolutely hydrated, hydrated, hydrated smooth? Or, yeah. um, I mean, you can see the difference. Look yeah. at the shine and the light reflection yeah. that you're already getting and from that. It just it feels good too, and I and I love the fact that you know it's it's making me already feel good about myself. That's amazing. Yeah, and it that's what that's the most important. Your confidence when uh, you can use the right products. Absolutely, right? Mm -hmm. it looks amazing. So much more shine. So I just wanted to mention a couple of things that you should do differently for yourself when you're okay. at home, but okay. without me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, when you're sectioning it out and you're styling your hair, I know that you noticed that I did a lot of like lifting right. up and away. Because the lifting is what's going to give you the volume. I just keep wanting to preference, preference that to my audience because, mm -hmm. you know, um, many women like me, we blow dry our hair like this, right? Down, we just, right? We're, we're, we down, we down. Uh -huh. So what, what we're trying to teach today to you beauties is that the whole lifting is what's going to get, like, look at already. I mean, she hasn't even styled it yet, but... Do you see the volume and how sexy and how beautiful it looks even before you've really yeah. styled it? So, and, and what yeah. you're going to do differently than what I'm doing, I suppose, because I'm 
higher up and yeah. you're working on a lower position of your body right is when you're sectioning it out um, you are working in the front but I would you know take this front section and bring it forward mm. You don't necessarily have to lift up, but if you bring it forward and away from your face when you so do that, so brush styling, it away from your face, away when you're from your sitting face. in your in front of your mirror. Yeah, so uh, that actually makes the hair oh, okay. go. It follows away from your face away. as far as what's mm -hmm. falling on the ends, but it also stretches the roots to give mm. it some lift. So oh. that's helpful. Um, the other thing I'd say is when you get to the back. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about trying to lift it up over your head. Okay. You can bring it over your shoulder. Okay. And then, and then, and then, you know, bring it down and around over your shoulder and then you can lift up and towards your face. And do you use things like argon um, oil or firming? And, and that's something for I the ends? I do use or, oils at the yeah. end. Um, of the styling. After the styling. It okay. kind of gives them a little bit of a hydration boost from the heat that you just put on onto right. the hair. Mm -hmm. So if you have a curling iron that has a heat adjustment settings, I always tell everyone, until you get the hang of it, start at a low to no heat until you get the rhythm going. Mm, okay. And then turn your iron on. That's always the best tip that I think I could give anybody because wow. you spend a lot of time on <laughs> one section trying to get it right and before you know it, you've really damaged your hair. Yeah. And you're gonna need a lot of that moisture hydration mask. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just have a quick question um, for you because so many women wanna know this as well. Mm -hmm. There's many, many women over 40, over 50, over 60 who have damaged their hair, who have, um, too much styling heat, you know, where they didn't use the heat protective spray or the whatever. So you're saying that the deep hydration mask is not just once a week for people who have healthy hair, but people who have damaged hair, the deep hydration mask is really a, like a go-to must to, to bring back damaged hair. Yeah, I would good absolutely <laughs> say that, definitely yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, I would definitely say that these products can be beneficial to anyone with dry hair. Um, a lot of curly hair tends to be drier than straight hair naturally. It lacks moisture, that's why it's frizzy. Mm. So if you have curly hair, you need a heavy hydrating shampoo and conditioner, you need a mask, you need all the moisture you can get. And so this is not just beneficial to women that are or men it can help yeah. men in yeah. their 40s or 50s this is helpful to anyone, anyone. that has dry hair okay yeah. good to know yeah take the iron and and this one I'm going to do the same thing on just above as I'm moving throughout I will start alternating the direction of the curls so it looks more natural mm -hmm. but like I said we're building a base and you wear depending on where you part if you part your hair and this is the side with less hair on it, this is the side you want to get as much lift. The last section will always go away from the face. Okay, but, but th this section you want more. The you more want more volume so yeah. you can kind of match the volume that you're going to get on the other ah, side. Okay, yeah. got it. <laughs> okay. It's fun to learn. Oh right? yeah, absolutely. Something else to consider is that I am only, I'm typically curling from the root, but I'm leaving the ends out just a tad bit. That way it stretches the hair so it doesn't look short and overly curly. Hmm. We want more of like a voluminous wave rather than a tight curl. curl yeah. Right? I don't want to look like Shirley Temple no, today. No, exactly. I want, I want to look a little bit. So you want it to look more loose. So that's why we sexy. kind of leave a little bit of the end out. Mm -hmm. So it looks a little softer, oh, a little looser. Mm -hmm. On this next side, I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. The only difference, if you want to think of a reference for kind of like where you want to start moving your position of the curl to go away from your face, mm -hmm. Your temples, where your hairline is, is generally a good spot to kind of decide when it's time to push the curl pattern to where it's going back away from your face. Perfect. Keep in mind that you don't want to drop your arms or your elbows too much when you're doing this because right. then you're pulling the curl down. Okay. You kind of want it to come out at like the perfect, like if you stuck your finger in a light socket and your hair was sticking straight <laughs> out, that's exactly Proof. where you'd want that positioning to be. <laughs> All right, and 
I'm just gonna do, so you can kind of see, this is where I'm moving into, I'm just below, actually I'll just separate that perfectly so you can see. Mm -hmm. This is the temple area, this is where we're gonna start kind of moving away from the face. So this looks a little too big, a little bigger than our iron, so I'm gonna have to divide that section up. Mm. Give it hold. Just so you know, ladies, you can do this at home. You can have fun experimenting with different styles and how you want to do it. Um, but I guess the bigger wand is probably easier. It is <laughs> and easier. Quicker. It is so easier. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is, once I start moving into the back, I'm going to be a lot. It, it'll be a lot faster, right? Because right. the back's going to look messier. Really, where you want to focus more time and attention is on the hair that's going to be in front of your face. Yeah, because that's where yeah. people are going to look at you. The first yeah. thing they're going to look at is this. So Definitely. Wanna, yeah. And like with with naturally wavy curly hair, I have naturally curly wavy hair. I really only focus on styling the front of my hair, and then I kind of let the rest go wild in the back. And I think that looks sexy. So with this, you just kind of want to go from underneath. Okay. And. Curl it back. Okay. And you kind of work your way down as you go, and you can stretch that bit on the end out. Mm. Um, Pretty. It kind of pushes the hair down onto the forehead. Mm. If you're somebody that wants hair more lifted up and away from your face, you can continue the curl pattern that I was just working on. Right. But I tend to think that this gives it more of like a natural look because curly hair and wavy hair doesn't typically all go in the same direction. Mm -hmm. But I know that a lot of people, especially women in their 40s and 50s, don't love when their hair kind of sits around their face too much. Mm -hmm. So an alternative to that would just be continually, continuously lifting, just making sure that the hair is being curled in a direction that it's going away from your face. I think as a general rule, if, you're, if you have coarse to thick hair, mm -hmm. you need to be on a higher heat because you need it to... You need, your hair needs to be heated up more so that it can hold the curl. Mm. When you have, it kind of, it has to penetrate through more layers for it to heat it up to hold the shape. Yeah. When your hair is fine, you want to go on a medium to low heat. And the reason you want to do that is because it's not having to penetrate through such a thick layer. Because I have such thin hair, yeah. To create that hair. hold, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it's it on a thicker? temperature gauge, right. I would just say, you know, don't go above like 300 okay. degrees. And it, usually they go up to about 450. For the most part, you'll probably be working with high, low, medium until you become a professional yourself. Um, mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would say always, always, always start with low to no heat for everyone. And when you get the rhythm down, boost it up depending on the coarseness of your hair. Now, it's a little awkward when you change your body position, right? So over here, it's a little easier. Mm -hmm. If you can, Switch hands, which is kind of hard, but if and you do, always... just make sure to be very careful that you don't get too close to your face because yeah. you're focused so much on what you're doing and you're not aware of that. Okay. It's <laughs> just a nice, no, I've, I've, I've made that mistake and it's not fun. And the whole point of keeping it up is, 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 the, is getting it, the curl to be a certain way. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's to kind of push it into, well, you need it at an angle. Mm -hmm. So when you're angling it towards your face, you, mm -hmm. it automatically, you have to lift your elbow up so that you can get at that angle. Okay. And then I'm just going to go from underneath in the back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm yeah. just going through, I'm alternating, uh, holding it vertically, going forward and backward with each section. Mm -hmm. You can kind of um, take more uh, like longer slices in the back. So this is just more of a panel and it just covers more area. It's kind of like a hack. You can get it done a lot faster, but notice that it's not that thick. So you're covering more of the back area to get it over with, mm -hmm. um, with great results. So just wrapping it around. This time we're going over and horizontally. Um, just for this back in the back of the head. When you get around towards the front of the face, you can kind of go in more at an angle, but this is just a little tip. As I've gotten older, um, it's become a lot more, like I'll wake up and my hair will be like curly, and like wavy, and yeah, you know, it's texture not, changes. my texture has changed so much since I have, um, you know, gotten older, hormones changing, it's the texture has changed and now, 
you know, people are like, oh, you have wavy, curly hair. It's like, I used to have straight hair <laughs> once upon a time. <laughs> When dinosaurs roamed the earth, I did, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> but now. The beauty of, of getting older is the confidence. Yeah. I would say that what you used to care about or think about before and what was so important to you, you realize it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And you know, um, and I, I just, I love, what I love about women as they age, I love when I look into their eyes, you could see the wisdom of their life experiences and things they've gone through. And so for me, that's what, what makes a woman beautiful. It really is an inside job. So the other thing that I want to talk about for a minute, uh, it's kind of a myth busting thing. <laughs> you know, so many you read in the magazines or you hear people talking about it. Oh, when you hit a certain age, you have to have short hair. I hate that. Who's like, I hate who that. Who made that up? Like, why? Um, okay, so. <laughs> if you have good hair, why do you have to have short hair because you hit 40? Um, or 50? I think that goes perfectly kind of yeah. aligned with what you just said about um, hair that's not in good shape. Yeah. Um, I think that that came from the fact that a lot of times with people's hair changing, mm -hmm. and I think with back, back in that time, like during when that happened where people started saying that, we didn't have such. Um, Good. Sophisticated products. products. Mm. Um, now we do. I, I think like That's hair tends to get thinner. Mm -hmm. so a lot of times when you get older, um, the the texture becomes more coarse. You know, and I think a lot of times people, women especially, you know, thought that it was time to cut their hair off because it was looking scraggly look or dragging my face yeah. down. But now we have we have all this we have all this stuff. We have hair stylists that <laughs> have products. have education like our oil, everything to yeah. really give it that moisture and bring in I mean, we're lucky, right? We yeah. have all these great products. And now. education and stylist mm -hmm. of how to cut right. hair in a way that you don't have to hack it all off. You know, there's mm -hmm. different shapes that you can go with and ways right. to do it that it, I don't think that that That's matters. what I'm saying. If you have good hair and it looks good and you, it's healthy and if you want to have it long, yeah, grow it long, you know, grow, go girl. Absolutely. Yeah. Grow, grow girl. <laughs> Should we use a little bit of this Absolutely. hair biology at the ends? Cause I, I do tend to get dry in my hands, yeah. so I thought that would be good um, to use at the end. So yeah. It looks fantastic. And I'm I th so excited. I think that um, <laughs> you want to use um, a little bit of oil mm -hmm. just on the ends, never on the roots. Mm -hmm. um, and it's nice too, if you're gonna go in and break up a tighter curl, mm -hmm. always put some kind of oil on your fingers so that it slips through the hair and it doesn't catch and stretch the curl too much. So thank you, Haley, this is so You're welcome. Funny. Thank you for having me. Ladies, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you, Haley. Thank you Again, for ladies, me. stay safe. You know, Haley's a very good friend of mine, so we've both been tested. But, you know, if you're going to have your hairdresser come over or you're going to the salon, make sure you wear your mask. Definitely. Make sure everybody's been tested. We want you to be safe and healthy. Um, we know each other very well. But anyway, we love you all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. All details will be below. Links will be below where you can get a hold of Haley. We love you very much. See you next time. Thank bye you. bye. Mwah.